Hello, gang! Um, yes, I've been away for quite a while. I'm very sorry about that. What can I tell you? It's just life, isn't it? Um, I've been vaccinated, uh, which is fantastic. I hope we're all out getting our vaxes, if we're old enough, um, or, you know, whatever. Uh, but hopefully we can turn this thing around and all get back to some semblance of normality. Yay. Um, so what are we doing today? Well, we are doing... Oh, yeah, by the way, I haven't not been doing anything because uh, I've been busy churning out the Rock on Tours podcasts with Gary Kemp. Um, I don't know if people have been listening to those. Uh, I know a lot of people have. It's been doing really well, but they're really, really good fun. And I would thoroughly recommend anyone to have a listen. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, so today is a personal favourite of mine, uh, Wicked World by Jimmy Nail. Um, I love this album. It's a very, very special one for me, this, because it's... Uh, because it was a unit, it was me, Jimmy, Danny Shogger, um, and we basically wrote and sort of did the whole thing on on our own. Except for, I mean, we you know we wrote all the songs. Uh, the very wonderful Charlie Daw helped with some lyrics, um, and then other than that, like I played all the guitar and everything. Apart from actually this and Ain't No Doubt, the other song I did are probably the only two songs on it which don't feature a bona fide all time guitar hero legend. Um, so it's a great album in that respect as well. But because it was that thing, it was like Toy Mountain A, we had months of sitting around just working out songs. So I got to really, and I think it's because Danny's a keyboard player and I'm a bass player. So rather than things coming from, you know, usual guitar places, a lot of stuff came from the bass. And I can't remember how I came up with this, um, but it, it's, 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 it's all the things that I love in a song. It's got, it's, got that, it's got a lovely, really tight part. It's got overhanging notes. Um, you know, sort of double stop stuff and um, and some nice driving octave pedal as well. What's not to like? Um, and uh, yeah, it's very, it's probably, I don't know what I'm channeling here. It, I, I think there's a sort of some elements of Norman Watt Roy at play here. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, it is a real personal favourite of mine. It's a great record, this. And um, I was, but when I put this up on Facebook as a possible, I, I was very pleased with the amount of people who said they'd like to hear this. Um, I know mainly. I know a lot of a lot of your viewers are American. You may well not be familiar with this, but this is in the same way as uh, British people have got to know about Toy Mat and A through these. Then maybe American people can get to know about Jimmy Nail record with this because Jimmy was a very famous actor and everything. But he's an incredible singer with an amazing kind of Noel Gallagher level ear for a melody. It must be said. I mean, he really does know a tune. Um, and this song, I think, it it, seems, it deals with the subject of addiction. I would say. Um, um, but yeah, let's do it. All right. <laughs> Oh, 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 
there it is. Uh, now let's have a look at that. Oh, by the way, uh, before you get my uh, back, it has been raining quite a lot here lately. But one day, a real rain's gonna come. Right, so where are we? Hang on, can't get in. No, wrong way. In our old friend in the octave pedal. Uh, my, actually, my OC2, my boss has gone down. No! Um, so I'm actually using my trusty TC electronics today. And we're in E, no surprise there. I missed the nice bit, let's do that again. This is the perils of recording with a pedal board that's over there. You can't actually, I'm having to reach over to hit it. Um, but I can't be bothered to do it again, simple as that. The other bit is the middle eight, which is uh, F sharp. Let's get the octave pedal back on. sure what I'm going to do next time. Might be You're Amazing by Robert Palmer. Um, just because that's kind of fun, that song. And it was actually a minor hit in America, wasn't it? Might be that. Might be Not a Word by Robert Palmer, which I do want to do. But it's, it gets one of those ones kind of be bothered to work it out again. Because it's quite complex. Um, but it is lovely. But anyway, uh, thanks for listening, watching, if you have been. And um, stay safe, look after yourselves. And um, yeah, we're nearly there. Nearly there. So um, keep it up. Lots of love. Bye.